So today we're going to talk about three equally effective ways that you can keep up with everything that you've got to juggle when you're a mom all in a calendar. Let's talk. <laughs> My name is Terry and if today is your first day, we are deep diving into day 30 of the Fly Lady Baby Steps, but you can start today right where we are. You can go back and watch everything else to catch up, but it really, really is a start from now, going forward kind of situation. Today, we're talking about calendars and why it's such a good idea to actually learn how to use them to keep up with all the things that are actually driving you crazy. So today I'm at the kitchen table because I really need to deep dive into how to set up a calendar and how I how I actually use it. And Fly Lady sells calendars. You're welcome to go buy her calendar, but you don't have to wait for it to come in. Grab you a calendar of some type, whether you print one off of, uh, you know, offline, or you've got a planner, I have that as well, or even an iPad. I've got the digital planner version as well. I use all of them for different things. We are gonna talk about it today. This is just a printable calendar. I've got this listed over on my website, uh, todaywithterryk.com. You know, I have the traditional calendar set up in my planner and I've got days that I'm gonna be uh, working with my grandson. I've got days that I've got filming going on and I've got birthdays added in so that I can keep up with all of it. But that is not the only way to use a calendar. It's important and we're gonna do that, but we also want to use it to keep track of some home type of things so that you're always one step ahead of what's coming around the corner because there's nothing worse than not having a present for someone's party. You know, there's nothing worse than not having the ingredients for the cookies that you've gotta to take to your son's, you know, preschool tomorrow, you know, it's gonna save you time, save you money if you set things up and really learn to live with it and to put forth effort to keeping it going. So first of all, go ahead and get the list of all of the birthdays that you've got. Grab your school calendar for all the elementary schools, high schools, all of the school things, all of the extracurriculars, and spend a few minutes right now jotting all of those important dates on your calendar. So now I take these little post-it notes and I start writing down four or five meal options based on the proteins that I have in the refrigerator or the freezer that I need to use up. So before you start to meal plan, you should always check and see what you have that needs to be used so that you're always using up the stock that you currently have. So once I get them, I just kind of stick them over here on my calendar and I don't even put them on the day. I just put them at the edge at the bottom and that way I can pick these up and move them around when I figure out what day I actually want to do these things. So my calendar is gonna look a little something like this. I've just got a list of options and I make sure I have all of this and I always include a leftover day. Nobody likes it, but it's mandatory. So that is gonna go on my refrigerator so that it's easy to keep up with. So the other thing that we're gonna track is our daily focus. And we will get into the daily focus in more detail after we complete the baby steps. What I will show you is how I track it. So I use both the regular planner and then I also have a digital version of it. And so it's easier for me to use the digital version when it comes to these kinds of things so that if I need to rearrange something, all I have to do is just circle it. I can drag it and move it around. It doesn't have to be done on that day or at that time period. So I love that for my home maintenance and things like that because you and I both know things go off the rails very quickly around the house. So I have that and with this particular planner they have the daily routines already in there. All I have to do is mark them off as they get them done. So it's a time saver for me but each day you're going to go in and you're gonna just write out what the daily focus is. So for today, I am going to be doing what they call the weekly home blessing hour. That's just a reset of the house after the weekend. I'm gonna check in with you guys in the Facebook group. I'm also gonna go ahead and pre-plan out my February calendar. I've got my plan for decluttering. I'm gonna tackle the stairs closet 
and then zone cleaning i need to hit the cobwebs and clean the windows that's my plan for today now if something happens and i don't get all of this done i will adjust the plan and make a new plan for tomorrow but that is my plan i also include over here what my meal is that i have planned for the day how much money i'm spending for the day and then a kind of a gratitude type of thing have the exact same planner in the paper version so this one is more of like my content calendar that I use for YouTube and my blog posts and things like that so I write my ideas I write when things are due so on my physical planner I'm doing that a bit more because those I try to be really hardcore about now you can buy digital planners a thousand different ways you just have to have an Apple pencil or some kind of a tablet and pencil and you have to have an app that hosts the planner like GoodNotes or Notable or one of those. GoodNotes seems to be like far and away the one that's most commonly used. So if you don't want to hassle, I suggest downloading that one. I think now it's a small fee for the app, but then you can buy any digital planner that you want. I have found that the ones that have a lot of links to them and they're a little more detailed, I prefer that. Um, but that is more advanced. So a beginner one can be just a flat lay like that one that you just write on and there's not a lot of links to it. That's perfectly fine. I have a ton of videos over here that you can watch if you're interested in learning more about digital planning. With paper planning, I am going back to it a little bit this year. Love, love, love it. The caution that I have for you is don't get all caught up in making it pretty because if you're actually using the planner you're going to need to mark things out you're going to need to move things around and it's going to look a little bit messy and if you spend three hours decorating this thing and then having to like rearrange things you're going to be miserable because it's not pretty anymore and I was there for years love decorating a planner but it's simply not practical for where I am right now so I am trying a paper planner without using a thousand and one stickers and without making it super cute this is actually just for work a planner isn't a magic potion it doesn't solve all your problems but what it does do is kind of help you stay on top of things and pre-plan things like a birthday party if you know ahead of time that there's someone that's having a birthday on Friday then the week before you need to be thinking about do I need to buy a car do I need to get a gift am I taking food to them what is going on and how can I be prepared for it I am the worst at this I'm telling you like birthdays come and go and I will miss them and they're in my plan so even though it's a planner, it's not perfect, but I do think that I get a lot more done with the use of these and I stay a lot more focused on the important things. So get a planner, put your, your menu plans in it, put your birthdays and holidays in it, use it every single day to track the things that you need to get done around your house. And you may just find that you get so much more done and you're more efficient. And I hope that this works for you and don't forget to mark your tracking sheet all right yay okay guys so tell me in the comments below do you have a planner are you using it is it digital is it paper give me all the details because i want to know if there's a better way that i can be doing it as well and until next time i will leave you with a quick prayer Heavenly Father, I just praise you and I thank you, Father God, for today. I thank you for the loved ones that we have, for the friends and family that we've met and we've brought along with us throughout this journey of life. I pray that you will just watch over and keep them safe. Send them blessings and just love and support from all angles. Father God, as we go into new routines, as we go into changing our lives, there are going to be so many speed bumps and so many negative thoughts that we come against. I just pray that you will just strengthen us and fill us with your joy and your strength that we can tackle anything that comes our way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. Go have a good day.